the last 10 years, I've been working on really powerful and expensive laptops. And when it comes to running your online business, it's crucial to be able to work smoothly with no lags or bugs. The thing is with laptops, you have to choose between power and battery life. But today guys, I think that I found something really interesting and the compromises are literally done. This is a new video. So this is it guys, my name is Kevin. I'm really excited because this video is, be, is going to be quite different. I'm not used to this kind of videos to be, to be honest with you, but this video is going to be about the Apple 13 inch MacBook Pro. Everybody on the internet is saying that this laptop is crazy. And in this video guys, we are going to use it all day long for my business, for my productivity tasks and all the things I'm doing on a daily basis. But this test is going to be interesting because this is a real life test situation. But what I'm going to do about this test is that instead of, instead of just plugging the electricity onto my laptop, I'm going to use it only, only on the battery, only on battery. So this is going to be quite interesting. I'm going to use it for my webinars. I'm going to use it for my coaching calls, for my team discussions all the things I'm doing in one day. I'm gonna record it with you guys. I'm gonna share with you my thoughts along the way of this video. And basically I'm gonna share with you what I really think about it. Everybody on the internet is saying that this laptop is crazy, is really powerful, but eventually I want to know if it's true guys. And this is going to be, in this video, you are going to discover this with me and I think you're gonna like it. But before anything else, Let's start with one really, really important thing that this is going to be only on battery. So there we are guys. I'm finally with my battery at 100% and we are finally starting the vlog. So basically I'm gonna start to prepare everything because I have a webinar in one hour from now. So this is the beginning. I'm gonna to have to just download almost every single apps I'm using on a daily basis. And for the setup guys, we have an external monitor, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, 13 inch. And to be honest with you guys, I'm really not cool with this guy because basically I, I'm also using an external monitor. So I'm gonna burn even more battery on this one. So let's go for it. Let's set it up and let's see how it goes. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm just back. So what I just did is basically, I've been setting up the entire MacBook Pro. I'm almost done, I think. So basically my initial thoughts are really interesting because talking about the power, it seems to be quite powerful, even though I haven't had the chance just to test many things like use many softwares or do really heavy tasks. I'm gonna do these kind of things later, but for now, the things I've been doing are pretty basic. I've been install installing softwares. I've been starting to download some big, big, big files, especially the very last one I've just started right now, because basically I just thought about this. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great just to use this laptop at the end of the day to play to one video game, which is World of Warcraft? It could be really interesting because basically this laptop is super, supposed to be able to handle really, really good games. So I'm going to give it a try at the end of the day, if it's possible, if I still have some battery. So this is it, guys. Now I'm going to jump into the webinar. And basically this is going to be interesting because I'm going to use my GH5 as a webcam for the webinar. So yes, yes, yes. I, I, I'm literally pushing this laptop to its limits because I want to see if it's able to basically handle my tasks every day on one battery. Oh, just one thing before heading to the webinar, because I just forgot, let's talk about battery. So we spent approximately, I, I think it's something like maybe, maybe an hour just setting everything up. 
And basically, let's look at the battery. 94%. Doesn't seem to be really bad to be honest with you. For now, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. Yeah, so let's go, let's jump into the webinar and let's see how it goes. Let's go. Hi everyone, this is Kevin speaking. I'm really excited to be in this webinar. This has been a long webinar. No, I'm kidding, not even a long webinar. I've been working in this webinar for 40 minutes. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty short, basically. I've been using Zoom for the webinar and yeah, it's okay. The length is okay. It wasn't so long eventually. And finally, I'm gonna just have to check the battery because I haven't checked the battery yet. And when I started the webinar, I was around 80%. And now my battery is at 64%, 64%. So during the very first part of my video of my use of this laptop, I was at 100%. And just in an hour, I lost something like 20% by downloading many apps and setting things up and also plugging my laptop to the external mon monitor and also my, my microphone because everything is connected. I told you guys, this is a real life test situation only on battery, on battery. And this is everything. Because basically, when you are using a monitor with a webcam, with your mouse, almost everything, everything with the maximum brightness on your monitor, it burns the battery. So for now, 64% after the webinar, this is not that bad. To be honest with you, this is not that bad. It's quite, it's quite okay for now. I think on this laptop, the 16 inch MacBook Pro, I, I would be around probably 20% or something. So yeah, probably 20% or something. But anyway, I'm just guessing and for now, 64% is okay. So for the rest of the day, I'm gonna just keep working on the laptop and I'm gonna use it to talk with my team members and basically do many, many different things like web browsing or really basic tasks. So we're gonna see if this 64% can keep going for a few hours before reaching 20%. There we are guys. So I've been working for a few hours and before giving, before giving you my verdict, I'd like to do one last thing because the battery is almost flat. So I have to tell you, yeah, there's a small issue with the battery when you are doing something really critical, really special. But I'm gonna give you the details of this at the end of the video. So please stay with me guys because in the next following minutes, I'm gonna share with you every single details of my experience with this laptop. But for now, guys, I'm gonna do something really interesting. I'm gonna use the laptop to play to a video game for a few minutes before the battery goes down and goes flat. So let's go, guys. And just after the video, after the game, we'll have a very last video together. I'm gonna to share with you my verdict. Let's go. How this laptop handles the game. Yeah. The graphics are really pretty good actually, and I think it's totally maxed out. Yeah, it's totally at the maximum. So we're gonna see if it if it works brilliantly or not. And to be honest with you guys, I I feel a bit of lag. It's not as smooth as it's just on my on my 16-inch MacBook Pro. It seems to be okay. Just for a 1,600 euros MacBook, it looks good. For now, guys, I think the battery is going to be really really low. Yeah, it's 4%, so I think we're gonna just stop the video just here, I mean, the video game, and let's back to the camera. Okay, guys, this is it. This is the end of the video, and now I'm gonna give you my verdict about this laptop, the Apple M1 MacBook Pro, and I'm, I, I can just plug this thing out because basically I'm just done testing it. And to be honest with you guys, I'm quite impressed, but eventually, I have a few, a few complaints about it, but this is not about the laptop. This is about the way I've just been using the laptop because basically I've been using the laptop for four to five hours 
but I have been really, really, really heavy in the things I've been doing and testing on the laptop. And there's one thing which has been really burning the battery and draining the battery so quickly. This is the external, external monitor. The external monitor is just, th that kills the battery. That drains the battery so quickly that you can't really experience the real battery life of this laptop. But even though this battery has just been able to handle almost five hours, it's already a long, long time because if you compare it to my laptop just there, I think I would have never been able to use this laptop for more than two hours with all the things I've been doing today. I've been running a webinar, which is one of the craziest things you can run on a, on a MacBook or even just on a laptop. It burns so much battery. Doing live streamings are really, really, really heavy for a laptop, for the CPU, for everything you're using. Because I used my I used my webcam, I used my microphone, plugged into a dongle, plugged into my MacBook. I used a monitor, I used my mouse, I used everything connected to the MacBook. And to be honest with you guys, even though Apple says that the laptop could handle 15 to 20 hours of just workload, it's just on a normal workload using the laptop itself, not using external monitors, external things like this, because it's really, really heavy. It drains the battery so fast. So this MacBook is really powerful. I really, I, I've been enjoying using the laptop because basically I had no lags, no lat latency. I had no problems or anything to complain about or to complain with anything that happened on this laptop. It worked brilliantly and I really liked using it. But yeah, I have to be totally honest with you. If you use something like an external monitor with many different plugins and many different dongles and everything, that's, gonna, that's going to burn your battery for sure. But this laptop probably lasts for more than two or three times more than this one, my 16 inch. Oh, and yes, of course, guys, I also used it at the beginning of my test just to download one very big video game, World of Warcraft, that we used at the end of the video. And guys, it's a really big video game. It's 75 gigabytes. It's huge. It's really, it's really, it's big. It's a really big, big file. And I downloaded, and I downloaded the file straight onto that laptop with no battery. I almost used it for five hours. I played to the video game for almost 10 to 15 minutes and I had no problem. It worked brilliantly. And yeah, I, I really mean, I really think it's impressive. This laptop is impressive. I really like it. And there's also one thing I'd like to do, to do for sure. I think instead of just testing it in my real life situation, which is not really the real life situation basically, because using a laptop on its battery with a monitor and everything, th this is heavy testing. This is really sick, heavy testing, to be honest with you. So this is not really cool to Apple and to the, to the MacBook Pro. But I think I'm gonna make a new test. I'm gonna create a new test in the, in the following days using the laptop, just the laptop, nothing else. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. So if you did enjoy it, please do me a favor, click on the like button. And if you want to receive the next video about this laptop just here, M1 13 inch Apple MacBook Pro, please subscribe because in the next following days, I'm gonna make a video just using this laptop alone on its own, nothing else, no external monitor, nothing like this. And I think the results gonna be totally different. So anyway, guys, in the next video, we're gonna talk about marketing, entrepreneurship tips with all my team and my, my colleagues. We are going to help you get more done with your business. So subscribe to the channel. And of course, guys, if you like the video, please do me a favor, click onto the like button. And I will see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.